Okay, let's start the AV test. Is my voice heard clearly? And then the object is visible clearly too. Okay, let's start it out. <laughs> units, equipments, and more. Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to Frame Arms Maker Reviews with me and Wisdom Yusa. This time, I'm going to review again another FA unit. It's still AC series, but not still at series. Curious about it, but before I show you that, I want you to hit the subscribe button first for you who weren't subscribed me yet. Subscribing channel doesn't consume your wallet, I'm not lying, but with subscribing, Besides supporting my channel and helping me to grow up, you won't miss my new videos each I upload contents. If you're done with it, I'm gonna start to talk about this. Here are the AC-17 Rapier. This is what I meant. Some of the owners spell as Lapier, and some call it Rapier, but I must follow its real name, Rapier. Just like Stilet series, it aims at air combat and air support. The difference from Stilet is the high flying capacity, reminiscent of a better helicopter that can fly at high altitude. Parts like a twin tail on the head are radar units, and the booster on the back is capable of independent reconnaissance as an unmanned reconnaissance aircraft, RAF-04 spotter. Now let's open this box and see what's inside. Things we got inside are Frame Architect, several runner kit, and a user manual. There are no optional items for this kit, so without waiting, let's start assembling. Kumitachi Kai Shi. So this is the rapier after assembling. Oh yeah, according to what I open in social media, most of you are chosen gunmetal. So I'm gonna set the gunmetal hand part on this FA unit. Yeah, there's nothing interesting from this kit. The design is quite simple. There's only a few sharp points from this type. Funny tail, shoulder shield, it will be discussed later, and the pair of uh, air. Wait a minute, I'll bet that this type was inspired from Little Girl. Just look at it. Don't make any strange delusion by this kit. If you do so. There are several parts that disappointed me a lot. I hate it still booster so much. It is easily pop off by itself. If you're tired about it, you can glue it or find another booster option. Another minus was also fun on its shoulder shield. It also pop off easily just like its tail. So pay attention on posing its arm. Another problem was found in her standing pose. It's hard to make her stand. You need to make the right balance to keep her standing and not falling down. You're tired already, just make a flying pose. Easy, right? Okay, guys, let's talk about the articulation. Ankle. Double joint for the knee. Limited rotation for the thigh. Crotch Front boosters Tail boosters Waist Ball joint for the base of shoulder, shoulder, shoulder shields,
bicep rotation elbow limited articulation on the wrist and the pull joint for the head Plus, there's an articulation for its backpack. After talking about the articulation, now let's move on to the accessories. Yeah, there's nothing special from this kit. The accessories are plenty as the other kits. Remembering us to the first skillet release, Godai and her twins, the Rapier Zephyr. We got open hands grabbing hands, and close hands as basic accessories. Then we got a Naginata and a Sniper Rifle. Is it, is it drag enough? Just like it is. Pretty similar, right? For the display, I don't recommend you to use both weapons because they look quite weird. You need to choose one between performing slashing skill if you like close combat, and for those who like guns, you can perform the sniping skill like this. Her RAF-04 spotter is replaceable, of course. You can attach everything on it. For example, the Raging Boosters. I need your voice, guys. Does her look weird or cool equipping it? Please add them in the comment section below. At last, the optional part for attaching her twin tail. You can choose between using twin tail or not. But for now, I'll set it like this. Special for this kit? Yeah, I don't know what should I say. I'll say that she's a good kit because this is first time I collected unit kit that combined Mecha and Little Girl. For evidence, her color, her twin tail, her high heel, and of course, her air <laughs> Even we just got several accessories, but if you can manage your performance, that doesn't really matter. But I would say that she's a pathetic kid because her armor is pretty loose and her articulations are limited. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching this episode. If there's any argument supporting this type, just let me know by adding them on the comment section below. If you like this review, please like, share, and subscribe this channel as there will be way more FA units to review. And there's a possibility that I also review the accessory. I'll see you again next time. I'm Lucky Arakune Harrier and Tomokazu Yusa shutting down.